Four stops. Oklahoma City Father murders his three kids. Oh, I know what's going on. These young girls out here moving like bosses. They got their own money. They are the largest growing number of millionaires. I mean, they selling everything from body butters to hair care. They even crocheting whole outfits. Oh, they out here doing the thing. And as they level up, they realize that they looking over here and this dude ain't leveling up. And so now she don't want him to be there. She want him to go and see it and pumped it full of these babies. And he thought that that was going to be his ticket to stay instead of leveling up himself. Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise. Let's go ahead and talk about it. And so this is a stitch. They're speaking specifically initially, I should say, about the video where the father red rummed his three kids. And I was under the impression it was because his baby mom gave him an STD, but maybe I'm wrong. But this lady here with her explanation, now she's completely wrong. She want to go ahead and, of course, put down men, black men in particular, I'm sure. She want to big up women, black women in particular, I'm sure. They bossing up. They out here selling body butter. They're doing hair care. They're becoming millionaires. Ma'am, no, no. That's not what's going on. Because if you go ahead and look at the numbers and the statistics, black people are still at the bottom of lists we shouldn't be at the bottom of and the top of lists we shouldn't be at the top of. Ain't no millionaires. That's not what the, that's not what the case was in this case. That's not what the case was in the case of the lady in um, Philadelphia. That's not the case and the girl who was in New York, that's not the case with any of these cases, okay? The case may be that the woman may want to do more, but if she was so busy trying to level up, why is it that she was having all these kids? I don't understand why it is that we can't understand and see that sitting around having a bunch of kids and then thinking that you're going to quote unquote level up or be rich is not how it works. You have a bunch of kids and you're not married to anyone who's bringing anything into the relationship. You are going to struggle typically. You're going to go ahead and have a less than desirable life and it's going to be hard. If you don't have someone that you can depend on, then my question would be, why are you having kids with them? You're sitting around here having kids with men who have nothing to lose and they do snap when you do say that you don't want anything to do with them anymore. Maybe not snap is not the right word, but they definitely do feel like they don't have anything to live for. They're so obsessed with you. They're all involved with you, even if they're out here doing whatever it is that they're doing because you provide everything that they need. In the words of divestors, you're being the mammy that the daggone man needs. And then you think that you want to be done. Then you want to go get PFAs, but you want to have the man still live with you to make that make sense. The problem, the real problem is, is that women are going ahead and having children pre-marriage with people who they don't know, or they're choosing people based off of high bristophilia. Or they're choosing people based off of dumb things like his hair is curly, he has a bow leg or something crazy that don't make no daggone sense. Instead of looking at the fact, does this person have a job? How long has he been at the job? Is it some sort of longevity? Is he making regular money? Does he have anything in savings? Does he own a home? Does he have an apartment? Does he have a car? Does he have anything that he owns on his own? Can he ver verify his actual income? What does his credit look like? What does his mother and father do? Does he even know who his mother and father are? Does he hang out in the street? What time does he come home? Instead of asking those types of questions, we go off of superficial things like his hair is pretty or he got a lot of money so he can buy me what I need. You don't seem to think that it's a red flag when a man has five baby moms and 10 children. You don't think that that's a red flag? You think that your kid is going to make the daggone difference? And then you go ahead and you see once you have the first kid that the person can't bring anything to the table and yet you continue to have another and another and another and then want to turn around and act like it's the man that's the problem. Now, let's not get it twisted. The man in that case is definitely the problem. But the real question is, why do you keep choosing men that provide no benefit to you and you have to work like a dog and be destitute and poor? And then you want to turn around and blame him. But you're the one that continues to have children with said person. And again, you go ahead and you get a PFA taken out, but you can't get away from the person or you call them or you allow them to call you. You still keep in contact. You go visit one another. You travel in the same circumstances. Help me understand what a PFA is going to do with a person that you still are communicating with. And then you all want to turn around and blame the police. You don't get your own personal policeman when you go ahead and you take out a PFA. I will keep continue to say the PFA is only to tell police where to start. If, God forbid if something should happen to you. 
Like, come on now, we got to do a lot better since, you know, black women are so smart. They're the most educated. They got this, they got that. They're independent and everything else, but do things that don't benefit them and then want to blame someone else most of the time. And then when she closed her purse strings and she said, you know what, I'm sick of this shit. I can do better. Three, four kids and not. And then he get upset because he ain't got nothing to live for when she put him up out of there. He does not have his own. So these young girls watch their mamas be mistreated or watch their mama take care of a man and have decided that that is not the life for them. Unfortunately, that is not typically true. One would hope that that's what they would decide, but that's not what they do decide. What they do decide is to go ahead and do the same daggone thing. Now, I'm not saying that they don't think I want to do it differently. I want to do it better. I will give them credit for that. Unfortunately, they still fall into the same daggone traps. You can see it every day on the daggone internet. It's not like we got all these millionaires out here. And if we do, please tell me where they are, like millionaire after millionaire after millionaire after millionaire of all these women who were never married and had all these kids and somehow, some way they beat all the odds and then they came up and leveled up and got all these things. Where are those, pe where are those people and where are those statistics? This is just another way for a woman to sit around here, talk negatively about a man, a black man in particular, while bigging up black women. And it's just not true. So even though they had a baby's by this guy, they may let him stay there so that they can, you know, level up. And when they do, they want him to go. Well, where are you going? He ain't got nothing to live for because he done bragged about how he done, how he using her and how he don't want her. He done called her all out of name. He done mistreated her. And now he got to go. He didn't have it like he thought he had. So now they murdering him on a loop. I said to say this. Stop getting these niggas that ain't got shit because they ain't got nothing to live for. And that's the most dangerous person on the planet. They male ego is too fragile and it can't take it. Now, I don't disagree with her about getting with people that don't have anything. I've said it before. I'll say it again and I'll continue to say it. Stop dealing with people, getting pregnant by people, involving yourself with people who have nothing to lose. Don't say that you didn't know or you found out too late. It's a no dog. That's what that time when you first initially get to know someone is about and for. You sit up there and you ask the appropriate questions. You take a look at their demeanor. You look, take a look at things other than what they look like and what their hair looks like, how tall they are, how dark they are, how much money they pulled out. If this is a person who hangs out all night and sleeps all day, that's a sign, unless it is that you know that he's working overnight at Amazon or Walmart. If you can't get a daggone employer name and an EIN number, you probably need to leave that person alone. Somebody walking around with a bunch of money, but no verifiable work experience. You don't see a rag. You don't see a name tag. You don't see anything that makes sense on where you get the money from. That's a red flag. If you're sitting up there dealing with someone again that has a bunch of different baby mamas, but he cl claims that he takes care of all his kids, that's a red flag. The problem is women who continue to get involved with men who offer nothing, bring nothing to the table, and then act like they want the world. Well, then you need to go ahead and hold out and go and wait until you find someone that can provide you with that instead of going ahead and taking the low-hanging fruit and then being upset and blame said low-hanging fruit because you chose low-hanging fruit. Honestly, at the end of the day, I know no one wants to hear it and you're going to get mad, but it's really not that hard. Make your expect expectations make sense. And if you can't get what you want, then change what you're doing. That doesn't mean go to the bottom of the barrel, but for some reason, y'all always want to go to the bottom of the barrel and go with what's easy instead of putting more effort into what it is that you claim that you want. Ain't all this bossing up, honey. You're wrong about that, okay? Just because we can open up an LLC don't mean that we've made it and don't mean that we millionaires. Because let me tell you something. If you did have that millionaire mindset, you wouldn't be dealing with people who don't want to bring you any good. I'll put it that way. But... You know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about because what the hell do I know? I've just been here 51 years and might know one thing or two, but I know y'all gonna go ahead and come for me and that's fine. Y'all keep doing you, keep getting the results that you do because at the end of the day, your life is yours. That means your results are yours as well. Remember that. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.